again if you would read this problem. You really could draw buckets again. So all I'm going to do in describing this problem, I'm not going to do the math that, that's involved and or solve it, but if you wanted to, in what I call a mixture problem, you could draw bucket A. It has grass seed A in it. And just write yourself a note that um, it costs $2.50 per pound. And seed B is in the next bucket. And it costs $1.75 per pound. I want to know how many pounds of each of those would you use? How many pounds of each of those would you use in order to make 75 pounds um, that cost $2.14 per pound? So like the last chemistry problem, you have to take something that's cheaper and something that's more expensive to get something that's in the middle, in a middle ground here. But this problem lends itself very well to this thought process again, and that is, in total, I want 75 pounds. And that will be represented by grass seed A plus grass seed B for a total of 75 pounds. The value statement is truly going to be the cost per pound times the number of pounds. So 250 per pound times A pounds and then $1.75 per pound times B pounds, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to pull the problem off now. And finally, um, at $2.14 per pound and 75 pounds, I do have to use that $2.14 per pound times the 75 pounds, and the reason this will help you see why you have to do that, that's going to give you a cost. 214 per pound times 75 pounds, and I haven't done this math in prior, so um, I'll let you solve this system yourself, but this is the setup for another mixture problem. I'm going to move on to a couple of motion problems next, and then the applications for what's called a system of linear equations will be completed.